At fifth place, we have an amazing spoken word artist. It's my call, I'm the slam master. I get to make the call. So it's not the judges, it's me. I conferred with the judges and we really couldn't see social justice front and center in the piece. So we're not just judging on content and performative style, which she has in abundance, but we also needed people to hit that target. And sometimes it's part of the things we need to learn as artists, particularly when we want to start making money from our art. If somebody invites you for an event and says that the theme of this conference is financial inclusion for national development and nation building, You cannot come and start telling us about your feelings and your emotions and how you are discovering yourself. And your... You have to sometimes learn how to write to a topic and write to it as powerfully and emotively as a poet. They invite you as a poet not because they want to learn a lecture. They want to hear a lecture. They want to feel something. They want you to take a dry intellectual concept and make it real and living and human. That is when you begin to move towards mastery of your arts. When it is no longer just writing what you feel, but sometimes writing what needs to be written. Okay? So I know many of you didn't agree with the decision, but we are the judges, and that is the decision we reached. And we ask you all to respect it. You can block me outside. <laughs> but no, I have a black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> I'm just giving you full disclosure. So, sorry, madam. She'll come back and I know she'll do great. At fifth place, we have Moyo. <laughs> At fourth place, we have a poet that was fairly consistent through the competition fairly consistent. To win the slam, you can't be fairly consistent. You have to be above fairly consistent. But he registered well enough to make it to the top five. And that means he has potential. And so at fourth place, we have Michael Imosa. At third place, what they call it, what they call it, second runner up, I think, second runner up. We have a poet that started fairly strong, and then got stronger, and then at the final round, maybe just wobbled a bit. In Islam, you have to sequence it. You have to go like that. You have to go up. You can't start with your best and end with your worst. But this is a poet that has potential. Ah. Come on. This guy is dangerous. I encountered him for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And I listened to him and I thought, what? I don't really show emotion, no. My face was straight, but I thought inside my heart, what? <laughs> so at third place, we have the man who traveled all the way from Potaka to be here. <laughs> Gray Mata. This guy came all the way from Port Harcourt. <laughs> and I'm proud to say that the ALS slam, A-Lead Fest slam, for many years, 
allowed many young people to train themselves through school by coming to participate in slams and winning cash prizes through the years. We've never, well, for the elite first, we have sponsors, but over the years, this is money that we contribute by ourselves. And there are many young people in this room. I'll not point at them all, because they're no longer young people anymore. That, like him, travel distances to come and win slams. And it is not, it's not beans to come third in ALS slam. It's not, it's not. You see this guy? that we call Ancestor. He has come third, he has come second. He has been cheated many times. <laughs> the same thing with Bash. Bash has been robbed many times in competitions. But me, I won. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> At second place, It was hot. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this slam was difficult. I don't envy the judges at all. And honestly, they did a really good job. Please, let's give it up for our judges. They did a really good job. This contestant had so much power. You could feel the energy. And yet, it was... Quiet. She was. They. They were quiet on stage, but they emitted so much energy. At second place, this is my first time of seeing day. <laughs> At second place, we have the amazing joy. My temple are all popping out. At first place. Ah, man, God bless whoever invented microphone. <laughs> At first place, we have someone. This person has been consistent. <laughs> From round one to round two to round three, killing it. Ah. Left not took no prisoners. And do you know why? The last ten slams, this person has been coming second. This person came here with anger. He said, "Today is my day." Their resilience is amazing. I hold them up as an example to others. Look, don't, many people come and they come third or they come fourth and next thing they say, oh, 
you know, the slam is useless, the judges are useless, and they walk away. <laughs> we're, we're human beings. Of course, we're not going to get it right. That's why we said at the beginning, it's art, it's subjective. Don't take it to heart. Somebody has to win. This guy, the last slam, me, I was paying for him. Because I felt that he won. In fact, I gave him 50K from my own money just to tell him that. But he has come back and come back and come back because he said he must answer that title Slam Champion 2023 Open that melody